Thanks to the environmental and economic advantages of LEDs, the technology is gradually taking over as general lighting source in, for example, businesses, public buildings, stores, restaurants, hotels, or private homes. Unfortunately, the world of LED lighting is not entirely straightforward. High quality and colored LED lights require an intelligent activation and or control system. These systems must solve a number of technical challenges. Among them, color and intensity issues of individual LEDs which depend on age, current and temperature. Additionally, there are high requirements for such modern light sources based on multi-channel LED technologies like the color rendering index, reduced power consumption, or specific color-to-color -color temperatures that require a control system. This presentation by Matset demonstrates how technological problems of mixed LED systems can be solved by sensors with feedback control, how color difference issues of mixed LED light sources can be tackled, and what requirements modern color sensors need to meet. The following images will demonstrate an application using color sensors to control a concert hall lighting system consisting of huge multicolored LED light sources. Due to the improved efficiency over conventional light sources, the heat development of LEDs is relatively low. Still, operating temperature ranges of applications must be considered carefully. Nowadays, the temperature output and influence of LEDs within most applications are under control, but external temperatures and environmental influences still pose challenges for the LED illumination technologies. In outdoor and mobile solutions, for example vehicles, LED systems must operate reliably within wide temperature ranges and withstand many other environmental influences. Especially temperature shifts cause changes within color and brightness of LED lighting sources. For example, temperature ranges from 25 to 70 degrees Celsius 77 to 158 Fahrenheit during operation can lead to a color drift of up to a factor of 6 above the perception threshold of the human eye for color differences. Furthermore, increased operating temperatures cause LEDs to age faster. The brightness of LEDs from the same batch can vary by up to 20% and the dominant wavelength of the LEDs of the same type may be spread over plus minus 8 nanometers. LEDs from different batches and based on other spectral material react completely different in shifts. Overall, these factors result in a distortion or shift of the color that is perceived by our eyes, delta UV of greater than 0.003. Until now, it was generally accepted that technical measurement limitation of possible color difference was delta UV smaller than 0.007 over a device life cycle, for example the Energy Star Standard. In future, even further increased requirements are expected. Current research, taking the comparability of adjacent light sources into account, assume future limiting values to reach a delta UV of smaller than 0.001 equal to 1 SDCM requirements which need to be met as a minimum target of actual color difference in light source solutions in ambient operation conditions. LED manufacturers try to counter color differences by a number of approaches. In many applications in which color authenticity is a main objective, the results of such efforts are insufficient. For example, in one manufacturing approach, LEDs are pre-selected, binned or classified in slightly different parameters. Another method is to predetermine the color point of a given operating temperature known as hot targeting. Other manufacturers aim to achieve a specific color mix standard to obtain the desired color point of the LED lamp. However, despite all these efforts, LEDs on either batch or individual sample basis 
are sensitive to deviation and drift effects that can lead to visible color differences. Additionally, the color spectrum and brightness of LEDs tend to shift as an aging effect during the life cycle of the product. This effect can cause problems for applications within high requirements towards color point fidelity where delta UV is smaller than 0.003 or the brightness variation should remain below 1%. Current methods to minimize deviations are to rely on the mentioned pre-selection methods and furthermore use temperature control, intelligent drivers to regulate the control and brightness of LEDs or use simple photodiodes to control brightness levels. The difficulty here is that the typical characteristics of the LEDs or the tolerances within a batch are generalized and therefore differences of individual LEDs are not considered directly and specifically not in terms of their color effects. An alternative method is to use color sensors. These sensors used in combination with gen color technology from Matset are a perfect addition to the LED lighting market. They are based on the color measurement standard CIE 1931XYZ. This is a known filter standard based on the perception of the human eye. Gen color sensors rely on high quality interference filter materials and therefore remove any detectable aging or temperature drift effects over the entire life cycle of a product. Gen color sensors rely on high quality interference filter materials and therefore remove any detectable aging or temperature drift effects over the entire life cycle of a product. These characteristics are especially vital for lighting applications where the sensor is used as independent value for control methods. True color sensors control the lighting by responding to the output of the LED system. Consequently, they measure the output of the individual LEDs in XYZ and precisely regulate them in LUV values according to the defined color or color temperature. This method allows being entirely independent of pre-selection, aging, temperature issues, as well as other interfering variables such as mechanical unit variations. This control system can be optimized for a high color rendering index, color brightness, or maximum energy efficiency. Depending on the system design and implementation of gen color sensors, color accuracies of delta UV smaller than 0.003 or 1 SDCM can be achieved from standard components. Although the use of a control system involves adding sensors to the existing components, the overall costs are not necessarily higher. The requirements for LED drivers can be decreased since the LEDs do not have to be binned or classified and it is no longer necessary to store specific LED classes in batches. Color measurements for light control solutions can be achieved by using a variety of technologies. Three range RGB color sensors are compact and optimized for rapid color detection. RGB filters are only suitable for color detection, for example the measurement of relative color difference. True color sensors with XYZ filters, gen color color sensors, are suitable for absolute color measurement. With these sensors it is possible to control the color light of any number of RGB LEDs with a precision not achievable by common RGB filters. The standard spectral value function of these sensors allows replicating the color spectrum of the human eye. The result is a system that can emulate LED light based on natural perception means and it is possible to manage the light color characteristics to a degree that is unnoticeable to the human eye. At the same time, the sensor remains long-term stable since it is not influenced by aging or temperature effects in correlation to the defined color point. It is a perfect match for applications with high requirements for precision and stability of colored light. Examples are the calibration of cabin lights in aircrafts, the background lighting of LCD displays, or as color management systems in digital cameras. 
the true color sensors allow the generation of efficient and natural light and combine ambient light sources to unified color characteristics. A typical sensor application of GenColor is the regulation of multi-channel LEDs. For example, the usage of red, green, blue, cold white, warm white mixed LEDs in one light source. Traditionally, RGB feedback control systems use three input and three output variables. For example, LUV versus PWM. This allows calculating defined color point conversions via linear transformation and provides exactly one solution. Nowadays, the complexity and quality of LED lighting systems is increasing and this leads to a growing number of introduced variables. For example, by adding warm or cold white to the LED spectrum to increase the light spectrum and or color rendering index. This option allows calculating different combinations for defined color points with each unique properties. Variances in the color rendering index, power consumption or temperature range can be considered while calculating the optimal color point for specific applications or tasks. Finding and utilizing the optimal secondary conditions are a main challenge for modern LED control solutions. A regulation of these overdetermined systems is possible via GenColor color sensors, but the usage of special algorithms is required. Matzat offers customized software solutions using various methods, for example, lookup table based control systems, LUT, fuzzy based control systems, and algorithms based on RGB LED restrictions. There is no unique one to one result of such a regulation and often more than one definition can exist. The table shows definite LED states of regulations which result of the same color point, but are different in single LED driver conditions or LED combinations, spectral range and achieved color rendering index. It will be the requirement of an application to choose the optimal result by selecting the right algorithm. The True Color Sensor IC by Matset is a worldwide unique color sensor which implements the tree stimulus value function using a combination of photodiodes and interference filters. As a result, the sensor signals represent XYZ based values of the CIE 1931 standard. These values can be converted into other color spaces, for example, YXY or LUV CIE 1976 where Y and L are index values for the brightness and XY and UV describe the chromaticity coordinates. Filter functions and materials of the sensor are unique for lighting control applications. The implemented XYZ filters ensure very high accuracy, better and faster than the human eye. Additionally, the interference filters are stable over a complete product life cycle and are also suitable for high temperatures. The sensors are available in alternative versions with various electronics.